we were here just a few nights ago and our holes are still open so we're gonna try them out for a bit Jig in a minnow Perch. Wow, it's a nice one. It's a good perch. Show me, buddy. Beauty. Nice one. Show the camera. Beautiful little tanker. No doubt. Good thing I have a good eye. I'm watching your lines. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Chasing Ashley. Chasing Ashley outdoors. That's right. And we are back on the ice. I'm going to say it. It might be our last time. It's, it's, but nothing is ever guaranteed, so. Yeah, it's getting questionable. Yeah, and it's supposed to rain for the next nine days, so I'm sure the ice is not going to be very good after that. We were here three, three days ago, four days ago. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, we lost uh, quite a bit of ice since then, even. Yeah, it's going quick. And it's getting really mushy on top, so. Yeah, and today's going to be, I think, another decent day. The sun just came out. It was foggy this morning. Calling for a high of 16 degrees yeah. Celsius. It's the best weather to fish in. Today we're targeting pickerel, walleye. And, what else? But we've been catching a bunch of perch, which is decent too. We're gonna fish all day, go home, clean fish, and tomorrow we are gonna do some fish tacos up. We'll probably bring you along for that. It's the plan. It's the plan. Do a little catch and cook, fish taco style. Yeah. And our so, friend Sal is over there somewhere. Over there. Somewhere. <laughs> you might catch him in our video. Yeah. Let's do this. See how it goes. Oh, we already have a couple fish on the ice, actually. It's a nice perch. Oh, she got a nice sink. <laughs> Chubby little Beauty. thing. I got a nice walleye over 18 already. So. We got some food for our tacos. Yeah. Swallowed it. Are those pliers? Oh, oh I, I swallowed that. Yeah. Oh no, no, no. Oh no. <laughs> Really? I want to see. What's up with those warts? Oh. Go 
going to the light, maybe. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Good thing I brought my rain suit. Take three. We're super tired. But we just got back from what was potentially our last day of ice fishing which was an amazing day. The sun was shining and we caught a lot of fish. We also got sunburns, right? Yes. Comb your face. <laughs> we both got sunburned today on yeah. our faces. So. Chase is just cleaning up the fish, getting them all prepped up for tomorrow because we are going to take you through some, a fish taco night and how we do that. You excited? Very excited. Chase has been obsessed with fish tacos, so we've done them a few times already and we just love the recipe, so we thought we would share with you. And what a better way than to end the ice fishing season with some tacos. Ashley's been trying to end the ice fishing season for the last three weeks. <laughs> and he will not let me do it. But I think, like, I'm, I'm almost guaranteed that it's done because it's supposed to rain for, like, nine days straight and the ice is going to be... I'm not going in the rain. Nope. Just not doing it. It might be <laughs> Chase's own Bring color. on summer. Yeah. Chase might be uh, doing a solo video. I guess the next step is uh, tacos tomorrow. We'll see you then. All right. So, fish tacos... As I promised, I don't think my GoPro was filming when I was chopping the vegetables, but that's okay because it's super boring to watch that anyways. But I'm gonna show you what we have so far. I cut up some green cabbage. Try to get it as thin as you can. Typically we use the red cabbage, I think it's more for color, but this is what we had. So this is what we're using today. The tomatoes, cube them up. Avocado. Crumbled feta. And then I'm cooking some onions in lime juice and salt. Growing up, my best friend was Chilean, so they always cook their onions like this. and. It's been so helpful to know this little trick. So the sauce is the star of the show. You're gonna wanna make a lot. So add a good amount of sour cream, a couple dollops, good dollops of mayo. A good amount of lime. I use one whole lime. And I have this uh, lemon lime press from Pampered Chef. I'm gonna put a whole clove of garlic in. This is from my dad's garden, his uh, winter garlic. I have a different press for that. A healthy amount of dill. Oh, so good. If you like a little kick, which I do, add some uh, sriracha. I don't have sriracha sauce, so we're gonna use a little bit of Tabasco and cayenne pepper. Chase is uh, prepping the fish. We're gonna batter it in Cajun fish crisp. Is that what we're using today? Cajun and a blend of home mixture. Blend. So pretty self-explanatory. Fry the fish for the fish tacos. We got our spread laid out. weapon. Don't skimp on the sauce. Never. We can have too much. And there it is. The taco.